Use this piece of birch I found the other day. It looks really cool with uh, some moss up here where the and there's a you can see where there's some beaver bites um, that took it down originally. Um, and I'm going to put my face in this area here. The tools I'll be using. I'll be using the flex jack carving knife that I have. I will also be using this set of carving gouges that I have. First thing I did was draw a center line down here and then I put in kind of an eyebrow ridge here and here and then I've drawn in ba a basic kind of triangle here um, or of sorts to define the nose and then I drew in a mustache here and here, the hairline here. And then I'm going to just put a stop cut here. I want to go straight down at this point. So now I've got this notch a little bit deeper than here. The next thing I'd like to do is to define the nose a little bit better. Okay, so you can see how I'm starting to define that nose a little bit. And then I will take away some of the wood here up to the eye. As that nose has to stand proud. If you Then what I like to do is uh, I've got to get rid of this material in here. I want to redraw. This is the center line. I can see my nose is off a little bit here yet. So I gotta come back and take off some here, but that's okay. And that's why you draw that center line, so you got a reference point. Now, of course, right at the tip of the nose is the point on the face that's farthest out. So we've gotta angle this nose back in a little bit here. And then we need to take the eyebrow down and come back in a little bit on the forehead. And then we can start to figure out how the curve of the hairline is going to go here. So this is the top and we can just have it kind of curve down this way and here yes we're still sloping down that forehead so if we look at it from the side profile this has got to come down yet a little bit alright so now I'm going to use my large gouge at how symmetrical things are. Obviously this side is much bigger so I've got to take care of that. So I'm going to go along that nose where I've got it established here and take off a little bit more. The deepest part of a face is right in here next to the nostrils. So that's got to be fairly deep. But I've got to do one more thing to rough out this nose and that's to angle this. I don't want them flat like that. I'm going to take a oh about there and I'm just rocking that 
back and forth till I get fairly deep and then because this is end grain this will pop right out. There's the side profile, so the nose is sticking up farther than anything else. The eyebrows are kind of thick right now. I'll probably end up taking those down, but I'm going to leave those for now. Trim off here. Now, I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to run my knife into this surface. I'll have to clean that up a lot more. So I'm not applying a lot of pressure here. So the hair will sweep up like that, and I've got to take off some... Uh, material here. But I'm going to work on the nose here because by just by shaping that nose and then getting rid of some of this area here where the eyebrows stop in that middle, that helps to help to define a lot of that area. A face should have a, a basically a 90 degree angle here. Medium size gouge here. And I want to round off the nose here. On our noses you got that little curl here. So let's draw those in. one all right so there I've got the mustache defines and then the beard will follow I need to define where the lower lip is. I'm just going to come in with a knife on this side and come in from this side. Make a medium gouge here. All right, so let's get some of this off here. See how far we got to go down. All right, I think we can maybe start working on the eyes. I cleaned up a little bit here. Um, got rid of some of the uh, bark up in here to prepare for the hair. I've drawn in the eyes and I've drawn in where I want the cheekbones. And I'm going to take the point of my knife and I'm going to sink it in right in into that point get it in as deep as I can get it okay pull it out and then do the same thing coming in from the top so like this then I do the same thing at the outside corners but I don't go quite as deep is on the inside. Make a mark. And make a mark. Okay, and then I'll connect the lines using the tip of my knife. Tip of my knife, and I'm basically going to do a stab cut in here, kind of take out, there's kind of a pyramid type. Uh, shape piece that I'm going to take out. So just plunge that in and see how that piece just came right out. Already starting to look like an eye. Same thing on the other corner.
If it doesn't pop out, you may have to replunge in. I got the corners there. Now what I'm going to do is bring, start go about halfway up, and then just go at a little bit of an angle back on the top, all along the top. That came right out. That's looking good. And now the eye. The eyeball actually goes at a slant, kind of like this. Might have to come in from a different angle if it doesn't work. So there's one eye started. And then you want to look and check your eyes. They look uh, that they're symmetrical. Let me get this cheekbone in here. And then just clean that area up a little bit just to blend it in. Nail sets that I use for this purpose. And then I'm going to just press down, give it a little twist. There, and I've created an eye. All right, there we go. Now I've got some eyes there. And then the last thing is to work on the beard and the hair. And that's all done mostly with the V gouge. Alright, so you can see how I've finished the mustache and then I kind of indicated a beard as well. Here's what I have so far. And there's with some finer V grooves in there. So we're pretty much done. You could run some sandpaper over, especially to get rid of pencil marks like around the eyes and such. And it does tend to make it look a lot nicer. Um, so I'm going to do that as well before I put a coat of boiled linseed oil over this. So here's what it looks like after going over with some 120 grit sandpaper.